Can you say hello? Please. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an 18 month old baby update. He is not a baby no more. So I wanted to do a little baby update because I haven't done one of these for months. And he is now 18 months old. I cannot believe it. He is a big boy. He can walk, he can run, he can not talk yet. And he's got four teeth on the top, four teeth at the bottom, and then he's got two molars in and either side of his face. So he can chew and he can eat really well. He is not yet sleeping through the night. Is this a bit of a nightmare? Bear, are you gonna sleep through the night? Yeah. Yeah? You promise? Yeah. You're not gonna wake up anymore? Yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. I'll hold you to it, yeah? No. Okay, he wakes up one time. Um, <laughs> am I being weird? Who am I talking to? Um, he wakes up one time and he wants a bottle and then he goes straight back to bed. But it's just still not ideal because he's not getting um, a full 12 hours of sleep. And I find that yeah. he's really cranky. Um, and I think it may be because he's not... Sorry, I'm just... Fixing yeah. myself, maybe because he's not um, sleeping through. I think that might be the issue. So I think I'm going to try some controlled crying. I'm sorry if you can hear him. He's right by my feet playing with these cars. Um, some controlled crying. I haven't tried this before. I didn't try with Lily, but he's a little bit more stubborn, and I think that it might be necessary. Oh, I'm popular today. Uh, so hopefully it works and it doesn't take more than a week because i just i can't deal with crying i just can't i i find it really difficult to listen to him cry do you want to get your cars and come back yeah go on then um i find it really difficult with lily it was really easy because she was breastfed exclusively um when i sort of said no more boob she just let it go she did it wasn't as easy as that of course but it was a lot easier than with him he is bottle fed and he has been since nine months he went himself off the breast he said no more booby mm. no no more booby he wanted the bottle with all the big thick milk and that's what he got but be careful mind your head good boy that's it you can get up now that's it clever Who's a clever boy? Bear. Bear? Can't just wean him off as easily as I could with Lily. Uh, I have taken him to the dentist because he does have lots of teeth. I'm so sorry about this situation. Um, I am trying to cover it, but it's becoming worse. Um, I am, thanks babe, but you're making it worse. <laughs> you're tickling me. And the dentist actually recommended that we stop bottle feeding him because it's just really bad for his teeth um, and more because he has one. He has one through the, no, no gentle, gentle. Thank you. He has one through the night, so, um, <laughs> why are you cuddling me so much? What's the matter? Am, am I being weird? Who, who am I talking to? I'm talking to the camera. Is that weird for you? Yeah. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, I took him to the dentist and they recommended for me to stop um, bottle feeding him because it's just really bad, mainly at night time before bed because obviously I brush his teeth and then give him his bottle and then I give him another bottle at like one or two in the night and now he's being really cheeky and he wakes up at four in the morning and he tries to hand me over his bottle again to um, get another one which is just never going to happen is it and I give him his dummy and he gets really mad he only has his dummy um, at night time for sleeping um, but yeah that's it what else can we say about you he is not talking yet he says little words he can say yeah and that's it I will ask him to say 
Can you say mama? <laughs> mama. Please. Say mama. He's really curious as to what I'm doing because he's never watched me film before. Um, but if I ask him to say mama, he would do the noise that he just saw. But I'm hearing it's completely normal. We went to a speech therapist and um, she had no concerns. I mean, I have no serious concerns. My daughter was talking at this point. She could put three word sentences together. Maybe not correct, but she could say things. Uh, whereas he is a little bit slower in that sense. But it's completely normal. Children are different. And she had no concerns. I had no real concerns, but I just wanted to just keep an eye on it. Make sure that there's no real issues, right? He's only 18 months. By age two, they should say 50 words. There has to be no sentences or no, like, two words together that have to make sense. It's just individual words. We are on one and a growl. Uh, so we will see. He's got six months. And a ooh. He says wow as well if he... Uh, careful he says wow he eats everything now um, I know other children I've got friends with similar ages children to mine and some of them are still doing purees I have moved on and he now eats exactly what we eat so for example yesterday we had bolognese I made him bolognese I cooked some I made some steamed broccoli and Lily and him had steamed broccoli with his with their bolognese so I do like added substitutions like that obviously there was loads of veggies in the bolognese as well but they mainly eat what we eat I just add more vegetables to theirs he is really good at eating he can be really difficult at lunchtime but he eats pretty much everything we think he might be allergic to tomatoes because he had them and then he broke out in this rash from where the juice of the tomato was dribbling out and the rash has I mean it's going but it's still kind of there and this was over a month ago I've had to take him to the doctors twice since and I've not given him raw tomatoes he is completely fine with cooked ones but I'm just a bit scared to give them to him again even though I, I want to try because it might not be that but I'm a bit scared that if it is I don't want him to just break out again it wasn't painful for him or anything like that and we took him to the doctors and I got cream for it and it went but I'm just really conscious now of raw tomatoes which are Lily's favorite and he loves stealing from Lily's plate so we'll see how it goes he doesn't like me mushing his food together so if I make finger food or things that he can pick up it's better for me to just give him to him give it to him and then he picks it up like if I make chicken and vegetables then I I would rather give him the chicken and the vegetables and he eats it or like a roast dinner I just give them to him individually if I mesh it up and mix it all together, sometimes he gets a bit iffy about that. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day. Should we say bye? Say bye. Have a good day. Yeah. Please. Say bye. Blow kiss. Can you blow kiss? Mwah. You do it. Good boy. Yay. So clever. Say subscribe. You know gonna say that. They would definitely subscribe if you say it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and until my next video, I will see you soon. Bye. Oh now we can go play, come on. <laughs>